The federal government says the country's agriculture research sector loses at least $100 million yearly due to its inability to attract grants from local and foreign grant issuing foundations and organizations. As part of measures to correct this, the federal government is organizing a training workshop in Ilorin, the Quara State Capital, for research officers on how to access funds from donor agencies. The report. Speaking at the opening of a week-long training workshop on grantsmanship for agricultural research officers by the Agriculture and Rural Management Training Institute, Ilorin, Quara State, the executive director of the institute, Dr. Ulufemi Oladuni, laments the effects of non-access to the funds to the Nigeria agricultural sector. We are not assessing at all. It's not that they are not ready to give us. It is because we are not assessing them. Nigerians have been missing a lot in terms of getting research funds, research grants from so many agencies at least even from Europe, who are assisting them. The AMT boss said that the institute deemed it necessary to contribute its own quota into developing the skills, knowledge, and research competence of the nation's scientists and make them develop better quality and high-yielding varieties to improve food security in Nigeria. That we are not attracting, and you know what that can do in the research system. Only in agriculture, you know what it can do. So when you extend it and look at the value chain for research itself, you know there are a lot of, not only for research scientists alone, we have uh, other actors along the research value chain that are losing these uh, uh, opportunities. The Quara State Government, on its part, agrees and promised to continue to provide enabling environment for agriculture to thrive in the state. Well, the state government, too, in its own capacity, have been doing a whole lot, you know, to empower people in terms of capacity building. Because it's beyond just, you know, even giving out resources. If you don't build the capacity of the people, there is no way they can utilize these resources. So in our own efforts, we have been doing a lot of capacity building for, you know, uh, ensuring our people are able to utilize all these opportunities. Fifty participants across research institutes and higher institutions are taking part in the one-week training. I just want to say that this set of participants is a plethora of highly cerebral academicians and researchers that cut across agricultural research institutes, colleges of agriculture, and even the universities. They expressed readiness to make the best use of the knowledge to enhance the agricultural sector.